ever wished you could just order rain like a food delivery for your city this is what the government is trying to do in delhi it's called cloud seeding and it's been used to clear skies for mega events fight drought and even nudge snowfall for hydropower but here's the twist it can help but it can also backfire the choked air of delhi is about to get the cloud therapy like what is cloud seeding fly planes up there to give the water vapor something to grab onto the technology has been used to have a rain free day on opening and closing of 2008 olympics but have we come to the point where we can control the weather let's dive deeper into the issue and understand what cloud seeding can do and why it is not a simple rain experiment before we analyze the issue let's understand the basics of rainfall for any cloud to make rainfall happen the rainfall particles or crystals need to grow become heavier and when the clouds cannot hold them these particles fall as rainfall now here's how cloud seeding helps it adds extra nuclei to make the water droplets and crystals grow faster and ultimately induce rainfall this is done by small aircrafts flying into the clouds that add silver iodide dry ice or salts like sodium chloride if conditions cooperate we might see a more sustained drizzle a sharper shower or heavier rainfall or snowfall in winters cloud seeding becomes relevant in the current scenario as cities are struggling to manage heat waves water stress and winter smog So now the question is how effective is this experiment to understand this we need to look at countries that have done this before here in China becomes a relevant case study China did the cloud seeding experiment before the 2008 Beijing Olympics opening ceremony when officials seeded the surrounding clouds so they would shower rainfall before the actual show time Next year in 2009 iodide sticks helped trigger days of snowfall in China to counter drought This was useful but the experiment was disruptive enough to close roads. China tried cloud seeding in 2024 again only this time the real warning signs appeared. The rain arrived fast and heavy as expected but so did the ferocious winds. This uprooted trees, smashed stations and ripped windows. The experiment that was supposed to give a much needed shower turned into a destructive outcome. So given the issues of the cloud seeding why is the indian government considering it simply because when it works it aids drought relief and water banking in dry belts of india extra rain helps keep soils damp for longer and recharge aquifers and reservoirs it also acts as a source of summer water the mountain storms are seeded to boost snow by approximately 10 to 15% in long term studies translating into summer runoff for hydropower and cities another major aspect is pollution wash down in places like delhi a well timed shower can temporarily bring down the particulate smog it is not a cure as such but a breather for some time then comes hail and fog control seeding can reduce hail storm size saving crops and clear fogs near airport for safer operations Having said this cloud seeding is not a miracle and it has some hard limits attached to it firstly no clouds no rain seeding can't summon storms from the blue skies if humidity is low cloud seeding cannot cause rain plus it only results in modest rainfall gains as they typically cause 10 to 30% more rainfall more importantly it has unpredictable side effects as we have seen in china where rapid weather shifts caused intense winds and hyperlocal damage another major cause of concern is the introduction of silver iodide and other chemicals into the atmosphere while small amounts may not be harmful long term exposure could be risky these chemicals can enter the air water and soil leading to potential health concerns globally 50 plus countries run weather modification programs often refining tech and oversight we must collectively share knowledge and make cloud seeding more sustainable however this is what everyone watching this video must understand cloud seeding shifts timing and location of rainfall in the short term 
it does not fix the long term drivers behind harsher droughts erratic monsoons or the urban heat island for that the heavy lifting is still cutting emissions saving water and planning cities in a sustainable manner at last i leave you with a thought artificial rain is real but it is not a weather remote used surgically it can buy us some time to focus on the real issues used without caution it can disappoint or worse cause significant damage if this cleared the concept for you hit like and share while you drop your thoughts in the comment section below 